Thank you very much. I'm very glad to be here in front of you. It's a great honor, great pleasure. Mr. President of the Board of Directors, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to warmly thank you for the hospitality and for the opportunity to speak here today. Chicago is uh, an existing place for us, for us the Greeks. First of all, we have a, a, brave, a, a vibrant Greek-American uh, community that uh, we look with pride to. A community that brings out the best qualities of our two nations. And entrepreneurship, dynamism, confidence, studying strong when things get tough. And having both respect for history and uh, at the same time the will to define it. Secondly, Chicago is an existing place for us because uh, Chicago is a dynamic, extrovert city that manages to be at the forefront of innovation and new technologies, while at the same time trying to protect those uh, most uh, vulnerable to the pressures of globalization. And there is a lot to be learned here in order to enhance our efforts to promote sustainable and inclusive growth in Greece, in my country, after seven consecutive years of uh, deep crisis, severe crisis, and recession. In general, I would say that uh, the best moments in our common history were those where we managed, were, were those where we managed to inspire each other. Our founding fathers looked to ancient Greek democracy for inspiration. And uh, we, the Greeks, looked to the American War of Independence when uh, the time came to rise up against our oppressors. Dear friends, again and again, when I speak to Americans living in Greece today, I hear the same message. This is the best moment in Greek-American relations after the Second World War, a time when we fought side by side against fascism. I believe strongly that uh, a big part of this was because of American support throughout our very difficult years of crisis. Support on the basis of uh, mu mutual respect. Support that uh, was highlighted by President Obama. Uh, I, will, I will never forget his support in the difficult times of the negotiations. I will never forget his uh, call phone just before the crucial negotiation in Brussels in June 2015. And of course, I will never forget his visit to Greece last December. Uh, and of course, President Obama's visit and uh, my invitation to meet President Trump tomorrow, I think that uh, means that our strategic relation is very strong and very promised. Today, ladies and gentlemen, Greece, my country, our country, because I know that I'm speaking uh, in an audience with a lot of Greek Americans. Greece is finally coming out of a severe deep recession that lasted more than seven years, caused 
approximately a quarter of GDP, of uh, Greek, Greece GDP, resulted uh, in 27% unemployment and led us to an enormous brain drain of our most qualified young professionals. A recession that was combined by the biggest refugee flows ever seen in Europe since the Second World War. Flows that coming to our doorstep. The Greek people worked hard. They made sacrifices. And at the same time, they improved for the better. And they refused to go back on our principles. Whether that means uh, fighting back on our economic program negotiations or protecting people that need it the most. And today, we stand strong again. Today, Greece is back leaving behind not only the crisis, but also the economic model that led us to it. The practices of the past that uh, contributed to inefficiency and corruption, hostile not only to the foreign investors, but also to us, to the Greek citizens. Our recovery is not based on returning to the past, but on new, solid foundations. And let me, let me introduce some uh, figures to explain to you better the situation now in Greece. The economy has grown for two consecutive semesters and the forecast of growth for 2017 is approximately 2% of GDP and 2.6% uh, was the last forecast of IMF for 2018. We managed to outperform the targets of primary surpluses in the last two years and this trend will continue this year, this year as well. We have already the first successful attempt to refinance our debt through the capital markets, and uh, we build our reputation day by day. The industrial production index is up 6% in the first half of 2017 compared to 2016. Investments are up 11.2% uh, for the first quarter of 2017. Exports are up in the first eight months of 2017. And let me just add that Greece has nearly doubled the exports of uh, the U.S. than uh, vice versa. Tourism has increased by 5 million in the last three years and uh, expected to reach 35 million tourists, million tourists in 2021. And in 2017, that year, that summer, we had the record of more than 30 million tourists in Greece. Most importantly, the unemployment rate has decreased 5.4% between 14-17 and will be down 7.4% by next year. And of course, uh, ladies and gentlemen, all this did not happen by accident. We applied a very demanding package of reforms, over 400 actions of uh, difficult, but some of them very necessary structural reforms, in our tax system, product markets, judicial system, health and social care, 
energy in energy sector as well as uh, the business environment. And uh, we made sure legislation was enforced because we believe that uh, only the good application of a good legislation can uh, remedy a situation. Our goal is to move ahead with a new sustainable growth model that gives priority to innovation, is export-oriented, investment-friendly, and makes full utilization of our highly skilled human capital and, uh, first of all, uh, is uh, socially just. But in that point, let me, let me highlight some of the reforms that uh, could make this goal possible. The 2016 Investment Incentives Law, which uh, aims to generate more than $13 billion in private investments by 2023 by providing incentives and uh, predictability to the private sector, including through a stable corporate income tax rate for 12 years. Second, the fast track procedure for the strategic investments. The high absorption of uh, EU structural funds in the period uh, 1420, where Greece uh, ranks first in the EU co-financed uh, investment projects for the first time in our history. Fourth, the cooperation with uh, international financial institutions in order to increase liquidity and ease investment financing. Fifth, the creation of a new state development bank. We are looking forward to start uh, its function in uh, in uh, spring 2018. Sixth, the acceleration of the investment agenda through the establishment of the Hellenic Corporation of Assets and Participation. Seven, further ease of investment licensing procedures in cooperation with the World Bank. Eight, solid steps to strengthen the Greek banking system, which was uh, recently recapitalized and is now highly performing in terms of capital adequacy. Nine, the promotion of uh, a strategy on fighting unemployment, and ten, the reform to combat bureaucracy with uh, full digitalization of the public administration. And our goal is very soon digital communication to be the main means of communication with the public administration. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, uh, this uh, effort in the economy constitutes a solid base a solid basis for our broader goal of enhancing our role as uh, an economic hub and uh, as a pillar of stability and security in our broader region. And this is exactly where the future of the Greek-American strategic relationships lies. It is not only diplomatic not only economic. It is a relationship of great geostrategic importance given the location of Greece at the crossroads of three continents as well as the growing instability in uh, our region. First of all, Greece is the only country that has promoted a comprehensive, active uh, diplomatic agenda for stability and cooperation 
in one of the most important but uh, also unstable regions in the world. It is a long time EU and NATO member and uh, one of the few that fulfills its obligations in terms of military expenditure and uh, international anti-terrorism operations. Greece promotes a strong defense cooperation with the United States, including in the crucial base of Suda, uh, of Suda Bay in Crete, through valuable and reliable air and uh, naval facilities. It has an active policy of resolving the Cyprus issue on the basis of a fair and viable solution outlined, outlined in the United Nations Security Council resolutions. Greece has an active policy of dialogue and engagement with Turkey in order to keep it looking to the West. It uh, resolutely protects its sovereign rights in the Aegean against illegal Turkish claims and provocations while remaining self-restrained and uh, encouraging dialogue. Greece uh, has an active policy of resolving the name issue with uh, our northern neighbors, Firm, with Firm, on the basis of a mutually agreed solution in order to open the path for the country's Euro-Atlantic perspective. It promotes strong bilateral and trilateral with Cyprus cooperation with our strategic partners in the region, with Israel, Egypt, but also with uh, Lebanon, Palestine, and Jordan, and uh, carries out important military exercises with uh, US, Israel, United Arab Emirates in the Mediterranean. Greece was crucial in establishing the Southern EU Country Summit. It established strong multilateral initiatives with Balkan countries, including with uh, Serbia and Bulgaria, trilateral cooperation and more uh, last month uh, with Bulgaria, Serbia, and Romania. And uh, it is instrumental to revitalizing the European perspective of the region. It established regional initiatives such as the Rhodes Conference promoting security in the broader region or initiative for the protection of uh, religious minorities in the Middle East. At the same time, Greece already a global power in tourism and shipping is uh, rapidly strengthening its role as an energy and transport hub through the delivery of Caspian gas using the Transadriatic Pipeline, TAP, and uh, IGB and the Vertical Corridor. Through expanding the LNG terminal in Revithusa, establishing and floating storage uh, regasification unit, FSRU, in uh, our, our northern uh, port of uh, Alexandrupolis, and uh, procuring additional gas imports from the United States. And I want to add the fact that Greece is the second country in the world that opens the way to shale gas imports in, uh, in, uh, in Europe through developing also as well the East Med, East Med pipeline for importing uh, Israeli and Cypriot natural gas, and uh, the Eurasia interconnector project linking Greece, Cyprus, Israel, 
in, uh, in an electronic grid. Through new offshore hydrocarbon tenders in Crete and the Ionian, in which uh, I know that American companies are active, through talks with Turkey on uh, a new gas pipeline, through following the successful privatization of the ports of Piraeus and Thessaloniki with uh, a view to developing them into regional logistic hubs connected to road and, rail and railroad networks, through expanding high-speed railway connections all through the, Val the Balkans, as well the Danube and Black Sea regions. Dear uh, friends, ladies and gentlemen, I believe strongly that uh, this is the moment for further enhancing the Greek-American strategic partnership looking to the future. And uh, this cooperation must focus on three fields. First, it must focus on uh, American investments in Greece, particularly in the fields of tourism and real estate, in the field of energy, infrastructure, new technology and innovation, agribusiness, and uh, also in uh, the financial sector. This includes important joint ventures in third countries, like the one uh, General Electric recently concluded in Libya together with uh, a Greek company. And there is a profound symbolism in the fact that uh, next September, when after eight consecutive years the adjustment programs will be over, the United States will be the guest country uh, at uh, the Trade Expo at Thessaloniki International Fair. This should be and will be the landmark of the Greek-U.S. economic and strategic partnership. If this is the first, uh, the, the, the one field of cooperation, the second field, it could be the recognition from the American side that Greece can only remain the regional pillar of stability and security if uh, its most uh, fundamental security concerns in the Aegean and the Mediterranean, the Eastern Mediterranean, are met, either on the level of diplomacy or military, military procurement, or both. As you may suppose, I prefer the first rather than the other two. Dear friends, uh, I want you, I want to underline, I want you to know that uh, we Greeks uh, are, we are a friendly country. We are a country that, and uh, people that were fighting for our principles and values. And we are a force of peace and stability and friendship. I want to inform you that I was the first prime minister that visited Turkey three times in less than a year at an extremely difficult time for our bilateral relations. And this because uh, I believe strongly in retaining Turkey's European perspective. Nevertheless, I refuse to believe that our peoples can have a healthy future when tens of Turkish aircraft violate Greek national airspace on a daily basis and risks accidents because of increased dogfights in Aegean. And I refuse to believe 
that uh, the people of a United Republic of Cyprus can have a future in this day and age if their security is guaranteed by a third country with uh, the permanent right of military intervention. So, with these uh, thoughts, I don't want to speak more because I think that maybe it's more interesting to exchange thoughts and views. With these thoughts in mind, I once again want to thank you for this uh, opportunity. And uh, I want to repeat that uh, all these Greek Americans that live in Greece that said to me that now maybe is the better period in the Greek American relations, and there is a unique momentum, they're right. It is a unique momentum. But after two days in Chicago, I'm more confident that uh, the Greek American community could do more to help Greece. Because uh, we need their help as crucial was the support of U.S. during the difficult times of the crisis, the same crucial is now the support in order to overcome the crisis uh, forever, once and forever. And I believe that we are in a unique momentum and that uh, we have to take advantage of it. My official visit in the U.S. gives this message, the message that Greece is back and the message that Greece could be strong again and plays a crucial role in order to protect, it, to protect our common values in a very sensitive region in the world. Thank you very much.